Hello there, Apps Spy viewers. My name is Peter, and I've got a hands-on preview video for you. This time, it's with Cartoon Survivor. Cartoon Survivor is from Sponge Games, and it's an auto runner, uh, as you can see. It's not an endless one. These uh, each of these stages is divided up into levels, and the idea is that you've got a little bit of dynamite stuck to your back. You're playing as this little bird here, and you want to get to the end as quickly as you possibly can of each of these constructed stages. Uh, and uh, collecting some of these trophies along the way if you can and getting as much of the currency uh, as possible as well so that you can buy upgrades and do all sorts of other fun stuff like that. So let's go back to the... Oh, we can watch an ad to double our score. Let's go back to the levels. The game's coming out on the 20th of May so consider this uh, a, a quick early look for you. I've not been playing a whole bunch of this, so I, ah, here we go. Here we go. We can see that you know there's certain difficulty levels. I can try and do it in 80 seconds, or 70 seconds, or 60 seconds. Let's go with 80 seconds because it's quite easy, and I am talking on a video. Um, I haven't been playing too much of this uh, simply because it's you know it's another auto runner. Uh, but it's in terms of presentation. I think that this is a very good looking auto run. I think that it actually looks absolutely lovely. And each of these worlds that you go through, each of these little stages, feels as if it's filled uh, with life. These little dinosaurs, the dinosaurs that you that you run up against, the, the, the weird little obstacles that you'll crash into, the fact that you've got this little T-Rex thing going on over here. Yeah, they're massively frustrating and the camera angle is not doing the game any, uh, <laughs> any favours whatsoever. But um, uh, that being said, I think... Oh, let's go the way. It does give each of these stages a good degree of life. Let's hit the turbo button whoo, into the cave. And everything feels very dynamic. When you do move into these... Ah, I didn't see you there, little plant. When you do move into these new areas, you do feel like, oh, oh yeah, like the, this is this is a whole and cohesive world. That's kind of cool, um, which you don't often get with these kind of endless action uh, type games. Now, I, you know, if I don't sound massively enthusiastic, it's because again, you know, we've seen a lot of auto runners in the past, and I do think that it's got a couple of gameplay flaws. Uh, this sort of strange third-person angle doesn't particularly work f brilliantly when you're moving at speed. It's quite difficult to judge sometimes where enemies are or how long their reach is but uh, it all it all moves along quite nicely the presentation is lovely and uh, yeah I, I think that it's filled with personality as well there's a, an intro cartoon that's pretty good and you can see that they're you know these developers sponge games they're, they're clearly setting up a bit of a world here that's trying to be uh, a little bit more than uh, your average kind of throwaway entry in the arcade in this sort of arcade runner genre. So, a uh, bit of a short hands-on video for you here, but I thought, uh, thought I'd give you a quick look. Like I say, it is out uh, in the next couple of days, so it's probably out by the time that you watch this. Um, it is called Cartoon Survivor. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.